What's up, YouTube? And welcome to Tattoo TV, where we talk about the love of Jesus to others often. Hi, right, it's your girl, Katara, also known as Nika Stay Fly. And I'm hoping by now you have already kind of gotten like the reintroduction to my channel because I don't feel like doing this every episode. So, <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, then I pretty much said what, what the channel is about. I'm talking about the love of Jesus to others often. Others being you guys, y'all, who y'all, who whomever is on the other side of this camera. Um... I'm basically just giving my testimony and talking about the way Jesus, God, Elohim, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, the triune God, the Trinity, the way God has been moving in my life. And so this is kind of like a testimony, story time, story time, testimony type channel. Like I may sprinkle a little bit of scripture in there if scripture, if there are scriptures that are related to um like what i'm the story that i'm telling for that day but for the most part the lord kind of led me to just hey katara this channel just you just just give your testimony um just give your testimony talk about me tell people you know what i'm saying what i'm doing in your life and so that's what it is now if you back up and go watch like my first few videos those videos were just um things where um I would be studying the Bible and the Lord would show me something or something would just jump out at me and I would feel like it would be kind of like a personal revelation. I'm not, it wasn't necessarily me like trying to interpret scripture or nothing like that, but just the way that the Lord showed me that scripture that particular day. So it's a few videos. Um, I mean, it's a couple one that talks about um when I was in the book of John and it just talks about how God has always loved us and then there was one um where I was in the book of Moses and I was just sharing I'm sorry the book of Moses what girl what well technically the first five books of the Bible Moses wrote them the Pentateuch so I mean well anyway I was in the book of Exodus and um it was i was talking about how moses had an encounter with one of the encounters that moses had with god um and how the holy spirit showed me how that particular passage related to something that i was going through at the time and so you can definitely go watch that video i share a testimony video now one of the first things god did for me after i rededicated my life to christ was God showed me where I had been in deep idolatry. I mean, heavy idolatry. If you are, um, if you subscribe to my channel when I was doing reaction videos, then y'all know I was WizKid's number one fan, probably. Well, I, I called myself his number one fan. And God basically was showing me how I had been idolizing him in addition to a few other people. Um, him, Ashake, Beyonce, so forth and so on. So um, I gave um, a story about that, how I, you know, the Lord showed me that I was in idolatry. So that video is on there. And then I've also done a video that talked about how I was like dibbling and dabbling in New Age um, religion and how the Lord really kind of showed me that that is all false. It's false light. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though some of the practices involved in new age may make you feel good, you may get results from the things that you do. Um, they are all fleeting and they are false light. They are, you know, from the enemy. They are from Satan. And it's actually very dangerous for you to participate in any of that. But I ain't that ain't what this video is about. If you want to watch um, here just about my own personal experience with it, then go check that video out. This video is going to be about how God transitioned me from listening to secular music now i just told y'all how my channel used to be a reaction video i would react to afrobeats music um afrobeats was my favorite genre 
Um, I discovered Afrobeats music like in 2014. And at the same time, I discovered WizKid. And so Afrobeats music and the genre of Afrobeats and WizKid became like my favorite. Like it was my go-to for everything. If I was sad, I listened to um, Afrobeats. If I was happy, I li listened to Afrobeats. If I wanted to, like it was just, it was, uh, it, it. So yeah, my channel was dedicated to me reacting to, and look how, how that just kind of slid out. Like I would, that would be my introduction. Hey y'all, this channel is dedicated to reacting to Afrobeats music. Yeah, so the channel was dedicated to me reacting to Afrobeats music. So I had a lot of, um, I've taken all of those videos down since then, but I've had, um, I, I would just react to various Afrobeats artists and um, just kind of, it was just my way of showing love to the genre. And let me just say that I don't have anything against the genre. Like I, I still like Afrobeats music, but now I listen to Afro gospel. You know what I'm saying? So um, I still love Wizkid as a, as a as a person, as an image bearer of Christ. You know what I'm saying? I still love him, but he is no longer my idol. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I idolize no one but the God of the universe, Yahweh. So um, yeah, like I said, this video is just about my transition from secular music. So one day... um. And I can't even remember. I, yes, I do remember the date. So I told y'all that I rededicated my life to Christ um, on February 4th, right? So February 17th, I'm at work and I'm watching um, videos on YouTube as while my day is going by. And I'm watching this video, um, this podcast with Tim Ross. It's Tim Ross in the basement, I think is what it's called. It was Tim Ross, and he had Jackie Hill Perry on the podcast. And so I was familiar with Jackie Hill Perry back when she was with the um, PC4M or P4CM movement. Something for Christ movement. Poets for Christ. Yeah, so P4CM movement back when she did her um her poem where she gave her testimony about um freedom from um lesbianism or a homosexual lifestyle like i remember seeing that video back when it first came out on youtube so when i saw her on this interview i was like oh okay look at jackie like what's she up to you know because i hadn't really been following her because i told you i had been in the world so anyway, I'm like, okay, look at Jackie. What's she up to or whatever? So I'm watching the video and her and Tim, they just chopping it up or whatever. And it's good stuff. I'm soaking it all in until she gets to, um, towards like the end of the video. And she had already kind of like started talking about somehow, oh, I know what it was. I think Tim asked her what she... What was something that had been bothering her, like in the in the church realm or in the realm of Christianity in the church? And I think that she said that um, she had really just been grieved in her spirit um, over the turn that I guess gospel music has taken, or just music in general, something like that. Yeah, it's it's been a few months. I think it was just music in general. And so she got to talking about like gospel music and then she got to talking about secular music and then she got on Beyonce. Now let me tell you something. Wiz Kid, that was my fave. But your girl was also a beehiver. I was very much in the beehive. So much so that last year on the Renaissance tour, I went, I saw Beyonce twice. I saw her once in my home state. And then a few months or a few weeks later, I saw her in Dallas for the Renaissance tour. So your girl was in the hive, okay? And I'm freshly rededicated to Christ just two weeks ago. I had just rejoined the church. So here you are, Jackie, 
<laughs> talking about the queen bee <laughs> um and her music and i'm 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 listening i'm taking it in but i'm also kind of like irritated like girl you okay okay not too much on not too much on beyonce okay um but she just kind of talked about how like she had kind of been studying and realized that some of the things that Beyonce um, spoke about in her music just were not, did not agree with God. Like, I think she said that there were some things that were related to witchcraft, some things that were related to um, d the demonic realm, so forth and so on. And so... It resulted in her saying, and I'm I'm listening, but I ain't gonna lie, I had a little attitude, but I was still like, okay, Katara, you know, you 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 are a new person in Christ, so you shouldn't even be feeling no type of way, cause she ain't lying, she ain't said nothing wrong, but <laughs> but um, I was I had a little I had a little I was a, a little bit perturbed, so. She kept talking, and then she got to a point where she was like, I want to challenge everybody who's watching. She said, I want to challenge you guys to go on a 30-day secular music fast. And I said, what? She said, just, just try it. She said, I promise you, if you try it, it is going to change your life. So let me tell y'all what was happening to me when she said this. Externally, I had all the attitude. Because girl, why are you trying to tell me I can't listen to my Afro beats, my Wiz Kid, and my Beyonce? Like, why are you saying that? You know what I'm saying? That was the external attitude. But internally, y'all, internally, I knew what she was saying was right and so before i knew it i was crying before i knew it i was in tears and the dialogue that was going on in my head was crazy it was but why like why do i have to stop listening to beyonce why do I have to stop? Like, I love B. <laughs> I love her. Like, I went to the Renaissance tour twice. And then I went to see her movie when it came out. Like, why do I have to stop? See, I listen to the album almost daily. These are some of my favorite. This is some of my favorite. Why do I have? Why are you asking me to give this up for 30 days? And I'm having these thoughts and tears are flowing. And then something else clicked in and said, wait a minute. If you got to cry about it, then you might have a problem. If it's literally bring the, the, the thoughts of not listening to this music anymore is making you cry, then... Because mind you, remember I told y'all that the Lord had showed me that I was in idolatry, right? And I had not already, like, repented of that and was, you know, sorry for it. And so it was like, okay, well, if I thought you repented and you were sorry. If you did, then the thought of giving it up shouldn't make you cry. And she just said to give it up for 30 days. She said fast for 30 days. It ain't like she said don't ever listen to secular music again. She said fast for 30 days. So if the thought of you not listening to secular music for 30 days, you not listening to your Beyonce and your whiz kid for 30 days is literally making you cry, you might have a problem. And so at that point, I wiped those tears, sniffled up my little, my little snot, and I said, okay. I said, fine, Jackie. Fine. <laughs> Fine. If you want me to listen to only gospel music for 30 days, then I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to be happy about it, okay? 
<laughs> so after the video was over, I sent out a, a text message to um, my family group chat. And I was like, hey, y'all, can y'all just flood your girl with your favorite God? Because I was so out of touch with gospel music. Y'all, I hadn't been in church for 10 years. 10 years. So I didn't even know where to start when it came to gospel music, baby. I was... You ask me about some Afro beats, I can tell you every artist that I can think of. You you want to know about some Beyonce? I can tell you that. You asking me about gospel? I'm going to have to take it all the way back to when Kurt Franklin was with God's property. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing. I don't have anything. <laughs> so I sent the text to my, um the, the group text to my family. And I um, was like, hey, y'all, just if y'all got some gospel music that your girl can listen to that y'all think that I would like, please send it to me because I'm going to do this secular music fast. So, y'all, when I tell you that was the day that I started the fast was February 17th of 2024. I have not listened to anything secular since then. I have not, and it has not been because, um, it's, it's just been because during that time, God, like, really, I told y'all, God has been moving. God restored my love for gospel music in such a way that's been like, like, he started bringing, I, I was laughing by Kurt Franklin and, and God's property, but, um, truth be told, GP, baby, that first album with Stomp, oh, it's some bops on there, it's some bops, and y'all, y'all might be a little bit too young, I don't know how y'all, how, how old you guys are, but um, I was in high school when that album came out. And baby, it hit back then and it still hits today. But yeah, God really like started bringing back a lot of the um old music that I used to listen to that I love dearly. And then he started showing me like new artists that I listen to. And not only that, like I said, I told y'all I listen to Afro gospel now. I... I'm scrolling on Instagram one day, and lo and behold, here's an Afro Beats uh, gospel artist, Limo Blaze. I said, okay, God, I see what you're doing. I see what you did, there. Uh, you said, all right, daughter. All right, daughter. You know what I'm saying? I know you like your Afro Beats, and I know I told you you can't listen to nothing secular, so I'm going to give you some gospel Afro Beats. So, you know what I'm saying? I have not listened to secular music, um, not intentionally. Like, I've gone to, um, I've gone to maybe, like, two functions where secular music just happened to be playing. But that's because, and they were family functions, by the way. So, it's not like it was, like, I was at no club or at the bar or something crazy like that. Like, it was a graduation party and it was a, um, a skate night, skate night. Where it started out with gospel music, but then at at some point in time, the venue switched over to the whole public. Because first it was a private skate night. And then when the venue switched over to public entry, then that's when they changed the music to, you know. But yeah, outside of that, I haven't listened to any secular music. Um, And that's not to say that I won't ever. Because I don't believe that all secular music is bad per se, you know what I'm saying, it's just that I've fallen in love with gospel, like everything that glorifies God and that gives God praise and that exalts, um, exalts God's name, it's just like I have fallen in love with praise and worship, um, yeah, I've even found a, found a genre of gospel R&B, it's artists like CJ. I've always been a fan of gospel rap. So don't even come from me. I know some people feel like gospel rap is not really um, Christian. And that it's like sinful for gospel artists to rap or whatever. But I don't believe that, baby. I listen to me some gospel hip-hop, uh, Christian hip-hop, whatever you want to call it. I love me some Lecrae. Um, Jackie is Jackie. She rapped too. Jackie Hill Perry. 
I love um, Reach, everybody that's on Reach Records. Limo Blaze is on Reach Records, too. I like um, Childlike CC. I like One Day. I like, um, his name is Caleb something. But yeah, I like I like gospel rap too. So yeah, I mean, I guess this part of the testimony is just to say that, you know, if you are a music lover like I was, y'all, music has always had a special place in my heart. So if you are a music lover like I was and you think that gospel music is just all like blah, boring hymns, that's not the case. They actually have gospel music for just about every genre that's out there. So you just gotta get in, get you got you gotta get in. Listen, the Holy Spirit will show you. The Holy Spirit will show you if you ask, He'll lead you. He'll, he'll take you to the, the stuff that you should be listening to. That's gonna uplift Him and that's gonna glorify Him and that's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, like real, true praise and worship. That's not self-centered, but that's God-centered, um, Jesus-centered. So yeah. That's the second part, um, or just another part of my testimony of how, you know, I was crying because somebody suggested that I not listen to Beyonce and WizKid. It brought tears to my eyes. But then the Lord said, nah, girl, I got you. I got you. Just, just trust me, daughter. I got you. And I have not listened to any secular music again. And you know what? To be honest. Mm-mm. Cause I I know I, I no, I ain't even gonna put that out there. I ain't gonna put that out there. I'm not gonna put that out there. But for now, for now, I just need to stick with my gospel and we're gonna leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so y'all, I will see you guys in the next video. And I again I wanna leave you with John 316. You know what? I should have prayed. On the last video that I made. I, Cause I used to pray. You know what? I used to pray at the end of every last one of my reaction videos. I prayed for my everybody that was watching and the subscribers. So I think that it's only right that I do that on this channel too. So, but I want to leave you guys with John 3, 16 and 17 in case um you know the the Lord has been tugging you. Or pulling you to himself. I just want you to know that. For God so loved the world. That he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him. Shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son. Into the world to condemn the world. But to save the world. Through him. And so God wants to save the world. One believer at a time. All you got to do is believe in his son. And believe that he died on the cross. For your sins. And that he was raised from the dead three days later and boom you in the kingdom baby yeah so i'm gonna say a quick prayer for you and then i'm gonna go ahead and close this thing out heavenly father um thank you so much god thank you so much jesus boy i just come to you as humbly as i know how God, just thanking you and praising you for everything that you've done in my life and in the lives of everybody that's listening or watching this video, God. And I just pray that um, you show yourself to everybody that's watching. I pray that you reveal yourself to them in a mighty and miraculous way, God, so that they can know you. They can know you for themselves and they can experience all of the love and all of the beauty of your sovereignty god allow them to have a real live encounter a life-changing encounter god draw them to you lord draw them to you let your will for their lives be done god you created them you created them you know everything about them god and you, when you created them, you predestined them like you had a plan for their lives, God. And I pray that you allow that plan to come into fruition, Lord God. Reveal yourself to them. Help them to know truth. And allow your will to be done in their lives, God. 
And we will be so careful to give your name all of the praise, all of the glory, and all of the honor forever. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name, amen. All right, y'all. So I will see you guys in the next video. So my schedule is going to be, I'm, I, I plan on posting videos every Tuesday and Friday. So I've said it. Now that I've said it, that means that I got to stick to it. Okay. So keep me accountable, y'all. All right.